Hi there, I'm Sadie. And I'm Chris, and we're Fork and Path. We're here to help you get more confident in the kitchen, and today we're gonna try a new food product, and we're really excited to bring you along for the journey. That's right, we're trying yuzu jam today. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like trying new food. Cause I do. Let's get started. <laughs> Since we've been homebound this year, we've been really itching to explore some new cultures. And as you know, we do that through trying new foods. That's right. And one thing I really wanted to try was fresh yuzu fruit, but you just can't find it in the United States. Um, so the next best thing I found after doing some research is yuzu jam or honey citron tea, which is pretty much just fresh yuzu pickled in honey. So we've been trying to track this down. My mom and I actually finally found it at our favorite local Asian grocery store. If you're in Denver, it's the H Mart in Aurora. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open and see what it's like. So as you can see, it's actually a little bit liquidy. It's a little uh, looser than like a traditional jam or marmalade would be. Ooh, wow, it's got a really, really bright citrus flavor, but... A little bit of an earthy note. Yeah, it's also kind of deep. It definitely doesn't smell saccharine. No, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Oh, wow. It almost has like a little bit of like lychee flavor to it. Yeah, there is a little bit of a lychee flavor to it. It's um, it's softer, less like bright and acidic than traditional lemon, but has like a really deep, rich lemon profile, almost like a, a caramelized lemon would yeah, be the way like, I would yeah, describe like that. Lemon yeah, or something. As we mentioned earlier, this is also called citron tea. And that's because it's normally meant to just be stirred into hot water to make an aromatic beverage. So that's the second way we're gonna try it, is actually just mixed in some hot water. So let's give it a little bit of a taste and see what it's like. Oh, wow. Oh, the flavor on that is fantastic. It's lightly sweet, but it's really, really bright. I can see why Ooh. people would drink that whenever. That is just loaded with like really unique, deep citrusy flavor. It's kind of like a hot lemonade or something. It's like a hot lemonade. It's That's really a good way good. to put it. I like sweet. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to become a, uh, a solid part of our fall cocktail list right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to try this one other way. So we thought trying it as like a jam would be the best way. We love having jam on our ice cream. If you've never tried that before, you absolutely should. So we're gonna give it a go on some vanilla ice cream. You're a dollop. You're a dollop. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we're fighting over it. I'm just gonna get there first. You are, apparently. Mmm. So we just did this on top of some classic uh, French vanilla bean ice cream. And it's really nice. The uh, the citrus and the vanilla are perfect together. It's really almost like a, it, it, this creates almost like a limoncello flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gives it a really nice um, balance. Like the vanilla flavor balances out kind of that bitterness that's in it a yeah. little bit. So yeah, that's fantastic. That's perfect pairing. <laughs> so I got a, I got a feeling we're going to find a lot of places to put our new uh, citron tea. But for now, we're going to finish this ice cream and finish that drink. <laughs> We're on camera. Well, that's all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. That's right. Be sure to subscribe and check out our website, forkandpath.com, for more great food tips and content. Slancha.